Okay, people, don't be scared. You're looking at two AEM boards communicating with a Raspberry Pi, on top of which is the AEM aggregator board. That's a lot of red boards. Now you can see that the lights are flashing, although on the camera, we don't really see the detail of the LEDs, but it's very, very exciting watching these LEDs flash in parallel with this one flashing. So if we look over here, we see that we are polling 5,100 poles on each of the boards and that the Q size is 746,000 elements. The writer threads are working as hard as they can, but they can't keep up with the data being produced by those boards. Here, we see that there are 68 megabytes, or 680, sorry, 686 megabytes of memory left. But it's basically going down, huh? 66, 686, 500, 686, 100, 686, 200, 686, 100, 686, 100. So although there are ups and downs, we are nevertheless going down. Look over here, we can get the word count and we can see that we've got 6.9 million lines of data written to the CSV files. That's a lot of data. A really, really, really lot of data. If we look back historically, here we see that when we reached um, almost a million, in fact, it is a million, the cutoff, a million items in the queue, we paused to let the writers empty it, and we started it again later. And we've seen that this has happened several times since we started the application, which is all very, very, very good. It's, in fact, unbelievable. Unbelievable. For information, these AEM boards are getting their power from this aggregator board. These wires are just so that we can see these results on the screen. So we can get them over the uh, USB serial and we can see how many heartbeats each of the board has produced. And it's, we're talking about 15,600 currently. That's a lot. It's really actually an unbelievable thing to see. In any case, thank you very much for your patience. I hope I haven't scared you too much with all these red boards. They scare me plenty.